Hey there, welcome back to this playlist on Tosca 2024. So we are discussing about all the new uh, and latest features which have been introduced uh, into this latest version of Tosca, which is uh, 2024 and beyond. So let's move on to our next feature. So this is basically a feature uh, which has been introduced to uh, do some integration between the Tosca on-premise, uh, which is the standalone version of Tosca and uh, the cloud version of Tosca. Now, uh, if you have not heard about the cloud version of Tosca, then uh, you can go to my playlist uh, where uh, I have got lots of videos uh, on this particular topic. But uh, the cloud version of Tosca is uh, how it sounds like. So you can access Tosca uh, and uh, some of its functionality uh, directly from the web. You don't need to install it uh, in your machine to access it. So that's a project which is ongoing, uh, which is built by Tricentis. And they are trying to uh, migrate uh, functionality from Tosca to the cloud Tosca, but uh, it is still in the initial stages. So let's talk about this particular feature, which is the cloud integration uh, from Tosca on-premise to Tosca cloud, and how we can send our test cases from uh, the Tosca on-premise to the cloud, okay? So uh, for this, there are two requirements. Again, uh, you have to be on the latest version of Tosca. And then um, you also need a multi-user workspace, okay? So I've already created a multi-user workspace and uh, I'm going to open this. Okay, so we don't uh, require any password here. I haven't set one for this particular user. And here what I have done is I have imported some of our test cases, uh, which uh, we have already looked at, which is the 2024 features. So it contains all the test cases. I have exported it from our previous project and imported it into the multi-user project, okay? So uh, these are the two basic requirements. And then we need to create uh, the connection between our on-premise Tosca to the Tosca cloud. Now, obviously uh, you need to have um, a valid account in the Tosca cloud. And if you have not seen Tosca cloud before, then this is how it looks like, okay? So this is uh, the space uh, which is dedicated to you, okay? And uh, once you register or create an account uh, in the Tosca cloud, you will get um, your own URL. So for me, the URL is uh, qscript.my.trascentist.com. So that's my cloud um, Tosca URL, which I'm going to use. So I'm going to copy this and then uh, we are going to come to our project and here I'm going to check out the root project. And once you do that uh, and right click there, you'll find an option to connect to Tosca Cloud, okay? So once I click on this, uh, you will see this pop-up uh, appears where it tells you that uh, connect this on-prem uh, repository to your Tosca Cloud. Um, and then um, your team can upload test cases to the cloud and run them there, okay? So there is now a seamless integration between um, the Tosca on-prem uh, solution to the cloud solution. This was not present earlier. We had to create test cases separately in Tosca cloud, but now they have provided a connection through which uh, once you are connected to the cloud, so either you can create and uh, move your test cases to the cloud, or uh, if you have existing test cases uh, and you are moving to the cloud, then you can directly move it once you have the connection. The only thing which you require is the Tosca cloud URL um, and obviously a valid license. So once uh, I copy and paste this, then I click on next and then it will try to connect to uh, the Tosca cloud. Obviously uh, it will ask uh, for authentication or if uh, it is already present, it will authenticate. Right. So uh, let me enter my username and password here. Okay, and then uh, we'll click on verify. Uh, it will try to um, connect to my cloud instance. And now you can see my repository is connected to Tosca Cloud. So I'm going to uh, click on got it. And uh, here below also you will see that uh, it is connected to Tosca Cloud, right? Now the next step is to move the existing test cases to Tosca Cloud, right? Because here in Tosca Cloud, uh, if I look at my test cases, so 
I have got some sample test cases, but I haven't got uh, any other test cases, right? So if I want to move to the cloud instance and or I want to look at my test cases or I want to execute them, then I need to move from my on-prem uh, Tosca instance to the cloud instance. So now the next step is to move the test cases to cloud. So for that, we need to uh, check out the individual test case and then move it to the cloud, okay? So let's do uh, one of the test cases or multiple test cases. So once I check out this particular test case, uh, zip unzip, and then I right click on that, you will see there is an option called upload to Tosca cloud. Okay, so I can click here. Um, again, it is asking for authentication. Okay, so here it is asking me to create uh, select uh, any particular workspace. There are just default and sample workspaces. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and create a new workspace on our Tosca Cloud and then we'll select it here rather than selecting a default workspace. Uh, so I'll come here to uh, my home page and uh, from there I can go to the drop down here on the workspaces, view all workspaces. And then you can see here the two workspaces which uh, are showing in the drop down. I can create a workspace here. Uh, let me call this training. And then uh, let's create it. So now that is created, uh, I can go back uh, to my Tosca on prem. And here uh, maybe I need to reopen this window. Okay. Uh, and now let's try again. Yeah, so now the training is visible. So I'm going to select that and click on upload. So now you can see the test case was uploaded. Now either I can close it or I can also open this in cloud directly from here. Okay, so it will take me uh, to that particular test case on the cloud. Yeah, so here uh, are the test steps. Uh, with uh, everything which we see on the on-prem. Uh, it is also shown here, okay? It's a little different, the UI, uh, but you will get used to it once uh, you start using the Tosca cloud solution. But yeah, that's how uh, you can um, actually uh, integrate your Tosca on-prem solution to your Tosca cloud instance, and then you can um, move all your test cases from your on-prem to your cloud, and you can directly uh, start working on the cloud instance uh, if you want to, or you can execute your test cases on the cloud instance. So it's a pretty interesting feature. If you are planning to uh, move or you want to transition from the Tosca on-prem solution to your Tosca cloud solution. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.